Hello guys, so welcome to today's show. My name is Nachos and you are on JFL TV, the home of football. So if today is the first time you see our program, for you to bring you the latest Arsenal news updates as they drop all over the world so far now, most of today's news. Um, Arsenal all played Nottingham Forest yesterday for the Nottingham Forest Stadium and we lose 1-0 again. So that lose will lose because they anger a lot of people, both fans, pundits, both legends alike now. So when you can look back at the game, we see say that I made some changes. Yes, with a lot of people now they talk say in do mistake because why are you experimenting? Although it is true that we are not fighting for anything else, but why are you experimenting with two games to go? Because when you watch that match, we see say people like Thomas Party they play full back, they get party they play right back, but why it's complex in the pattern the problem regardless. For the defense, then keep your con they play left back. So where Shaka Conte, where Jojo Conte, those ones Conte from midfield, I believe, with Odegaard. So at the end of the day, you no know, day too palatable to people mind. Nobody be really happy because why would you keep a Kelly and Tierney on the bench and you can't prefer to go play a Kivio? You get on the left back. So that's something you know makes sense to a lot of people. And this one don't go to show say. Kiri and Tien, you know, get future for us and like, you be like, say, I think I know to trust them, you get, or something is wrong with their relationship. We don't know what's in the behind the scenes, so at this point, we just speculate, you get, so we don't really know what's in the happen there. I mean, we talk, say, maybe in like, a frame of mind, maybe Kiri and Tien, you know, the 100% fits, I don't really know. But from what we got to talk, because we're not there with them, it's looking like Kiri and Tien, you know, get future, so maybe they won't sell them. Like, we don't really know, at the expect maybe I think I can talk something. For the press conference, but I know here I'm mentioning something like that because they don't even ask him say why he do those experiments. Although he got the complaints, he's to score deaths, then they affect them. So that kind of thing for a premier, you need to have 24 outfield players that are very, very fit. Say him now, he's unfortunate for him, say he no gets those number of players. Get so in that time, if it makes sense. Now they come ask him about Rhys Nelson, so he got to Rhys Nelson gets illness again. That was why I was not available because many people they bring the argument of why keep playing Saka when they say Saka they born and Saka no they in form at all. You don't they out of form. Nobody even beats players again one v one. So why keep playing Saka? Why not put Nelson? But Nelson they sick. So who else for even put there? So that's why all these arguments. So at the end of the day, you don't have to say that not for us beat us can't escape relegation. That was why they were celebrating. The way they did, who we'll just go there, capitulate like a pack of cards. No really whole ball, like you no know, control. Like I will play like you no know, play like Arsenal. Shots we'll just we'll just a pity to watch. Well, it is what it is. I just don't feel with me. The league just finished. More enter transfer market. Make us see the magic where people like do Gaspar and Ateta go perform because themselves they will feel the pain. I think that said, but they embarrassed with what happened yesterday because it was a disaster. Now, away from that, so Ian Rice, come to my cycle, he talks, say, he do an Ateta, say, that they work to improve Arsenal squad after they lose the title. Say, that one sure for them, because that's the next logical step to go and buy players and replace the aging players, and especially some places who will lack depth. So, you need to sign players to cover all those areas. So, that good step in the right direction. So, let's just see how everything will end, because sometimes, all this kind of loss, it makes sense because when we don't lose like this, then we will not say we need mad replacements again. So let's just see what they will bring for me. I just advise, I mean, I come on mind for this season. This season don't go, we say don't go, we don't finish. I thought I'd already congratulate Man City because Man City did already win the league tights you get. So they don't announce, even before playing against Chelsea, they don't already, the EPL don't announce them for them saying they congratulate. Everybody don't tell them. Congratulations, their players don't really talk congratulations. And now what's it Pep said they talk say you know who want me to win the league because of say Arsenal lose to not have for us. Say you want me to play against Chelsea, make them win, on celebrate time again. But now before the match will start seven already win. So well it is what it is, Jerry. Alright, so away from that, so the Arsenal don't they link to Joshua Kimmich of Bayern Munich. Now nobody really Arsenal, the reason the guy Liverpool did for the race. Then I think uh, Manchester uh, United self did for the race. Even back accepted the race. Now Liverpool, they did the race before. Now I can't believe like, they changed their mind. Maybe they won't go for that and this Macalli style yet. So back accepted the race before. Now back at the looks so, okay, they get Zubi Mendy for their front and they get Ruben Neves. So I never really know whether people will really sign the guy because the guy had a defensive midfielder. Arsenal they really said they get the opportunity to sign the player. 
So me personally, I don't know whether the deal will work out. So more we'll just to watch. If you work out, fine. If you don't work out, plenty, plenty names there for the market. No show for anybody. Kasey do day, Rice day, Zuriman the day, Seged Vinikovic Savage day, Kimik day. Many, many players day. Yuri Tillemans gone. He day. Ruben Neves, Oambe. So we never really know who they sign who. Yes. Now when June 13 reach, transfer open officially. You can't know who they go with. You will hear a lot of linking stories get to Arsenal, to other clubs. So when time reach, I did to the break and down for now. All right, Fabrizio Romano, don't come outside for the podcast we do for House of Champions. Get where they talk about Cancelo because they ask about your Cancelo. So you can talk say I get a good relationship with Cancelo agents. I remember say Cancelo joined uh, Man City 2019, and that 2019, I think I was still there with Man City as the deputy manager. So he get good relationship with Cancelo, and Cancelo said be open to the move if was come to worst because from the look of things, from what we will hear from BILD, will be a reputable media organization for Germany. And let us know say Bayern don't take Cancelo say in gas fine in square rules. At the same time, we call the say two shell. The Ocomans and the talk say at the end of the season, even with Cancelo will sit down. They will discuss because for the contract with Cancelo, they come there on loan. Mass they put 61 million pound buy out clause. Like if you don't, if you like the guy loan term and you want to sign up, see the amount where you go pay. So buy and the field say the amount is too much, which means the guy will return to uh, Man City. Then ask that if you can go there, if Asta can pay the fee, fine. But there's this fear it gets say Man City if you block the move of Cancelo joining Arsenal because we won't hear about the swap deal. But now we don't hear that again. Maybe the swap deal don't work again. So we never really know how everything will end. So let's just keep watching. Because according to Fabrizio Romano, Arsenal are in talks with his agents because I think I get a good relationship with them in the first place. Alright, Dwight York, don't come and say I can't advice Declan Rice. This is Dwight York now, former Manchester United player. So you call the talk say if Rice won't win league titles, like want to win Champions League, you want to win trophies, maybe not trophies to push you, come up for West Ham, then you should go and join Man City. We we'll join them if you stay for bench, but at least you go win something for your career. But if you really want to stay in London because of your family, then the best place to join is Arsenal because you can just see Chelsea. They don't really get their mojo right now. Manchester United, even though they are the best club in England, according to Yoko, because now Manchester United fan in me. So make him go join my you. But if you want to stay in, in, in London, me, I don't say the guy, according to the year, Arsenal are the favorite. It's not because we are the ones with the most ambition or with the big, biggest projects, but for the fact that in the London, and then no one move in family, come up for there. So he go on stay for London. And the best team in London right now is Arsenal, the guess. It was like with the way things they stand, not only Arsenal will be the London team if you go Europe next season. No? Like better Europe, Champions League and Europa League. We're not talking about conference league. Oh. So because from the look of things, if you check the table now, you will see say sports no even for European places. They like eight there yeah, because they lose yesterday. Brentford knocked them two and after they score one zero up. So look at Chelsea now. Chelsea will language for like maybe 13 or 14. So now maybe West Ham now. If West Ham win this UEFA Europa Conference League, maybe I think they will elevate them to Europa League. I don't really know how the that will be set. So let's just watch how everything plays at the end of the season. I'm a Tony Adams said, don't come and say I can't do it. It's the talk. So but we'll back on the talk, say these Arsenal players, eh? See, then the injury and all those people are going to lose form. Now, what's it going to affect Ateta? Because once we will suffer from when make us lose the league title, so now this squad depth will have inadequate squad depth because we have players who are injured and we don't have people coming in to fill up for them. We have players who lost form at the wrong time and we don't have quality replacements to so come and give them a breathing space. Look at Bukayo Saka. Do you think Saka is playing the way he has been playing since the beginning of the season? When was the last time Saka scored a goal? So Saka, that person will say, you don't get out of form. You need resting. Uh, resting. You, get, you need to rest. But nobody can come in to come and give him that chance. You get Nelson will return. Okay, you can come in easily. That was the sick. So these are the talking points. These are the things we are talking about. So it is what it is. But back on the advocate, say at the end of the season, in this show, say people like Edu Gaspar, they will make sure as a director of football, you must make sure you sign quality replacement because your manager at that don't come outside publicly to lament, to talk, say next season we don't have the squad to compete for the EPL and the Champions League. So that means you have the opportunity to rejig the squad and sign quality replacements and cover now. You get so let's just see how everything will end. I might even pay rain and say, don't come outside, despite everything with the happen. So Baba Kali talk say Akata was born to be a great manager because the guy gets great intelligence. But the problem when you get to say the material when they work, no day enough. Yes. 
that's the major issue with him they get. So, well, I agree with Piperina. I think I get the intelligence, get football intelligence on how to manage players, but he never gets that pieces of the puzzle where he need. Look at the kind of squad there. Sure, it's not really to talk about squad. I believe at this point, Nigel Blase would talk like a broken record. Everybody understands say we last squad them. So, no need to be hit on that one again. I'm here on Ramsdale, don't come outside, I said, for sober reflection. So, Baba Kondi talks, see, 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 since we are affected this season, that individual errors. So, Kondi give himself an example, say, against Southampton, you know, supposed to give them free goal in 30 minutes against, against West Ham, they win 2-0. That one, I'm actually say, at the end of the year, we're supposed to win the match. We can't go draw. Against Liverpool, leading 2-0. I'm not sure we say we're supposed to win against. And for that Liverpool match, if anybody can go there and get a draw. Okay, against Bri uh, Brighton. Brighton, what's up what happen? Say anybody can lose against Brighton because they are good this season on a good day, anything can happen. But those are matches we're supposed to win. Against Southampton, 3-3, look at what happened. Against, now against Nottingham Forest, then look at what happened, what we needed to win the most. Not because we fight for anything, but at least smoke will just finish the league strongly and look at what happened. Say, Majority of the loss or loss, especially you should when you look at the last 10 games you ask around play. I think we just want to lose like three, draw three. Like it is not a good record you get. So it is what it is. Individual errors also cost us. Imagine that Pedala match with Saka lose penalty. Like all those kind of things. Assuming those things don't happen, where could we have been? You get so if we should have forces some better to drive. So it is what it is. Someone just let sleeping dogs lie and move forward. Oh my dear Arsenal of us, so if you know what you should should check the top left corner of your screen, we'll see the thumbnail. Click on so that you get all Arsenal updates as they drop all over the world. So start signing out. Enjoy the rest of your day. Game out.